coming to my daughter's room, get that off my face, to do my before shot because everybody's asleep and she's in my room. But it's really messy. So if you saw the before shot, then you'll see that it's a very messy room. Anyway, I'm going to be brave. This is me before in my bikini on, in my bikini. So mostly there and there, but I had twins. So I can't be too hard on myself. So then, good morning. It is day one of my Clean 9 Detox. And to be honest, I'm feeling both excited and nervous. As you can see, I've just got up, so I'm looking really tired. Um, it's going to be a big change for me, just taking my before and after shots, and I've just weighed in. Funny enough, I lost a bit of weight the last couple of days, which is interesting, because with some of the strange things that I believe in, I've probably already got in the mindset and my body started to shift. I made myself some mint tea with fresh mint leaves, which I do enjoy. Um, slightly different from the regular cup of tea. Um, so, and I've got a long week ahead of me because of um, commitments with other things. Like just now I'm about to go up to London and I've got a full on day. So I need to make sure that all my stuff in my bag is really well organized um, and that I've got everything that I need to take for today. So we've got to give it a good shake. Cool. It's hard to shake it when it's full up. We've got to give it a good shake. And then once it's open, keep it in the fridge. Oh yeah, so there's a nice little tear off bit there. So it's quite a thick consistency, you can see that. I did pull a face when I tried this at Lisa's house, so mm. can't do it in one. It's alright, but you're gonna have to get used to it, I think. A few bits in it. I think I'll have to shake it some more. It's. I'm gonna literally not be able to get to a fridge, so I'm gonna measure it and I'm gonna put it into this water bottle. And now it should stay in the fridge. You need to keep it out of um, out of the sunlight which it will be in my bag, so that's fine. And you need to sort of not be too slow with it, you know what I mean? So hopefully that'll be all right. I'm gonna put that in a little bag and that's my drink for lunch time. In case I get hungry and I'm stuck and there's not, oh, that nice rubbish. So in case I'm stuck um, in London and I get so hungry that I just end up going and eating a chicken breast or something, I'm going to take myself plenty of cucumber. Um, cucumber has anti-diuretic properties, so it can make you go to the loo. Um, but it's good, so I'm going to pop it in this container, take that with me, even if I just munch it on the train somewhere. But then I'm also going to have a shake. I don't know if it's having a shake now, because it's going to be very difficult for me to have it at lunchtime. So I might take those as my lunch and have my shake now, I think. Okay, so just quickly then, I've got my um, Forever Fibre there, which I'm going to take with me today. Thank goodness it says on the gluten-free, because I have to eat a gluten-free diet. And I just remembered as well, I need to take my my Garcia Plus and Forever Fern. So I don't know what these are going to do to me. I'm not an expert, but... Um, smell a bit like chocolate milkshake so I've got my shaker I've washed it I don't know if you watched my video about starting it but I suggest put the water in first there's a marker there oh that's a lot 300 milliliters so that's good use filtered water of course so I have water. When I've got on the scales this morning, because I lost a little bit of weight that over the weekend, um, I'm actually thinking, so I don't weigh now until, not tomorrow, the day after, day three, and I'm thinking, it because I was something one and something, so hopefully that could click under the next lot. So I'll give that a really good shake, and I'm going to drink that on my way to the train station, because I need to get on the train now. Oh, that's quite... 
everything. I thought there'd be more six in the packet. I've got lunch in there. Actually, I don't really need to take dinner, but I'll keep them with me anyway because then I know that I've had the whole day's worth. I've got my aloe vera juice in there for lunch. I've got some cucumber. I'm going to just check if I can have an apple. I'm going to add that in as well because they're quite sweet. Apples are allowed. I'm really in a rush now because it's five to seven. I've got makeup there. I can feel. Yes, there we are. I have two children upstairs asleep. I need to get up, get ready for school. And then I need to whisk to the train station. It says in my book that it's take 30 minutes of exercise this morning. And because I would be walking and fast, <laughs> um, I would definitely be getting that 30 minutes of exercise. So although that doesn't look like it's going to really fill you up, there's quite a lot of food in there. So imagine that inside your stomach, which is not that big, and it will fill you up. So I'm all set to go, I think. So I've got my, my shake. My thread of fibre is going to go in my bag and I could mix that. I could put it in there, mix it with something. Um, that's supposed to be snack, they call that. And fibre does fill you up, so it could well be snack. This I'm going to leave on the side for now. Sort that out later. My other juices in the fridge. Finish my mint tea. You have to drink lots of water as well. That's all in the in the pack, which is brilliant because that will help you flush out all your toxins and things. So if you want to have a little look what, what's going on in my day, and I will report back at the end of the day. I woke up hungry, so that wasn't a great start, but um, hopefully, you know, it's because I didn't eat very much at the weekend, but I lost some weight, so that's what I want because. When you lose weight, it makes you feel happier. So I'm on my way to the train station now. You might be thinking like, why are you doing this when you've got such a busy week? And yeah, I totally understand like what you're thinking. But to be honest, it feels like it's my time. And I think sometimes you just feel ready for it and that's it, you wanna do it. Like I've got these black jeans on today, right? And they're already like a little bit loose. I'm gonna obviously lose quite a lot of weight chances are these might be the last time that I wear these black jeans I thought I'll wear them today it's hoping that it's really going to work for me it's going to be good for me it's so easy to make excuses and to say oh I can't do it this week because I've got this to do I can't do it that week because I've got something else to do I suppose if you was going to like run a marathon on empty maybe that wouldn't work but other than that there's not really that many excuses you can come up with is there um so yeah so I decided that's what I'm going to do I didn't get a chance to measure myself this morning which is disappointing because I've forgotten and um, and then I've run out of time so oh my goodness it's four degrees that's really cold and um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna maybe do that tomorrow and um, I still see some inch loss but for me it's the weight as well it's important so if you're watching this because you're doing clean nine then very good luck to you as well and uh, I should do a little bit of a vlog for you throughout the day you can see like uh, how my mood is because like, I'm so excited right now thinking yes let's do this and sometimes as you start to realize actually this is a little bit hard your mood can slump a bit but I've heard other people say it energizes you it refreshes you and I've had so many aches and pains lately and well, I'm not as young as I used to be but I don't think I should be having the level of aches and pains I've got now um, something you might not know about me is I have Crohn's disease and celiac disease um, so I'm prone to autoimmune which is, uh, arthritis is an autoimmune disease as well and that's not something that I want to have uh, I have been told I've got the beginnings of it in my hip and I believe that you could probably reverse that if your body's doing all the things it should do you can renew those cells you can get a whole new skeleton in your body over the course of 10 years did you know that fascinating bit of information that I learned from university last year I've got my shake there in fact let's have a bit of it shall I do a little taste test with you all. I'm going to give it another quick shake because I want to have this before I get on the train because otherwise everyone's going to go, oh she's dieted, she's had a shake and you don't really want that much publicity. So it smells all right actually. Let's try. It's lovely really lovely there's some sort of taste to it that makes it not taste just like a regular chocolate milkshake and I can't put my finger on it. it tastes a little bit malty but there's no gluten in this so I know that there isn't any malt in it because malt is um, a gluten containing ingredient so mm, I'm gonna sign off now drink my shake drive to the station and then I've got a good 20 minute brisk walk and um, so between that and all the other walking that I'm gonna do today I'm going to floor that exercise thing. I've done a bit of yoga as well because in the book it asks you to commit to what you're going to do. 
so I've done a little bit of yoga this morning as well which should hopefully help my back um, I was quite impressed actually although I need to lose weight my abs didn't look too bad this morning in my before photograph so I'm quite pleased about that <laughs> So it's evening time now and I'm home and I've been really good. I've stuck 100% to the plan and done exactly what I was supposed to do. It's 8 o'clock, just got home. Um, I am a bit hungry, but I do feel very flat in my stomach area. I'm getting a little bit tired, but I've had an incredibly long day. So what I'm going to do now, I've got to have two more lots of gel before I go to bed. And I need to drink some more water really, so I've just done a pint of water. I might cook some broccoli and have that. Um, not with any butter or anything obviously and what I may also do is get a quarter scoop of the what's it called I can't remember what it's called um, but get a quarter scoop of that with just a little little amount like that of hot water and make a milkshake so at least I suggested and I thought that sounded like quite a nice idea as like a bedtime drink thing because I'm a little bit hungry and I don't want to wake up hungry in the morning and, and grouchy and all that but um, what else is news I haven't I haven't opened my bowels let's be polite um, and as for my wee it's quite yellow which is surprising for me because if you're a coffee drinker you'll probably know you can get like quite um, quite yellow pee when you've had a, a coffee but I wasn't having any anyway for the whole of this month it's been what's it today 23rd um, so for 24 days I've not had any coffee um, or caffeine of any description no coke or anything like that um, and yeah I do have quite yellow wee so that suggests to me that some toxins are coming out Hmm. which um, suggests that this stuff is actually doing what it says it's going to do. So I, I keep looking over there because I've got my powders and that over there ready. So I'm going to go and get them down me. I'm going to have a bath. Probably going to get an early night because if you are getting toxins out, and I don't know all the people that teach me this stuff at, at uni say your body's perfectly fine detoxifying itself without help. But, you know, if you've got free radical damage and these sorts of things can mop up those, the oxidation damage and stuff like that. So getting some sleep will let your body repair and do as much as it can. So I'm hoping to be in bed in about, probably about an hour's time. Even if I just sit there and watch some TV for a little while and just really chill and really relax. Um, so I am excited. It's been a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. So I can't really wait for day two, but I'm going to be re really hanging on for day three when I can get up and weigh. Um, I've set myself a goal. I've done all the little things in my book. I set myself a goal. I would like to lose a minimum of ten pounds. So let's see how that can go. So anyway, this is me signing out for day one. Goodbye, and come back and check out tomorrow's day two and see how it's all going then. It'd be more of the same really, but um, you know, it's good to good to know how it's going. So I don't know. Do you think I look slimmer? Looked a bit porky like that really actually, didn't look quite that bad in my photo this morning. Um, so anyway, yes, thanks for watching, please give the video a thumbs up and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now.